<laughs> this is your boy Screw. Here we are with Hellacious Performer. Yeah, let's get it in. We're finna do this. Hey. He'll represent. Lord bless He'll this represent. man. Hey, Still cracking necks for chicks. Here's my handgun. That's right, hey, grinding bones to the powder as I was saying. picture that I put out with my friends and family on, on uh, Facebook and shit. You know I have to do the interview now. Because that picture is... Uh, <laughs> that picture is fire. Yeah, that, that picture got we me in a lot of good. shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We look. That picture got me in some, in some questions, answering questions. Ooh, Who's this? What's that? I told you I ain't been in trouble since kindergarten. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kindergarten. You understand? You know what I'm saying? What, what? Going to bed too late and shit like that. That's the last time I got in trouble. Ladies, y'all know what I mean by getting in trouble. Nah. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> so, being the way that I do know you from Playhouse and from, you know, saving and protecting you through all the dangers inside the club. <laughs> this is my favorite security guard. <laughs> I was, I was getting paid for that. So he, he, he this is yeah. Every time I'm there, he has a bag. So, let's explain to everybody about what you do. Oh, well, yeah. I sing, I model, I dance, I act. I'm a content creator. Um, I write, I direct. I cast these songs for my YouTube. I have a YouTube series. So, um, yeah, I write, I cast. People have been in the industry with me. Who, who have you worked with that's that's no? Um, and I don't mean like necessarily like, like A-list actors like that. Yeah, but I mean like people that kind of like got a following. Mm, I worked with Jamie Foxx with my music. Yeah. Uh, when I started my music, um, he was like the DMX label. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I loved it, but really? I thought I made it. Right. But it did. Well, what what happened with that? Like, like, um, it's just when like you have sort of. contracts that you don't, that you're not aware of, you don't know, you're not educated and stuff like that. I wasn't educated and stuff like that. But they did teach me a lot. But they taught me how to hold the plugs. That's why I'm still yeah. in the back now. Still yeah. in the back. Still, you know, I watch and I learn because I'm, I'm pretty much like a visual learner. Right. So when they thought your girl was just sitting back watching, no, sweetie, I was learning. <laughs> really? Yeah. And and about how old were you when you got picked up with, with DMX? I was 22. I was 22. And you did it for how long? Mm, four years. Four years? Yeah. That's pretty good. I did. And, um, like, hammer, like, boss to the wall four years? Or, uh, like, yeah. like, or, like, there's spaces, like, you were just... They had me in Dr. Dre's studio, but I was doing featured songs with yeah, yeah. different artists and never heard them. Never oh. heard the finish but yeah, that's that's where I started. That's how I got my foot in the door. And then from that, from then, I just, everything independent. I just started doing stuff on my own and getting my team together, creating my team of people that I have in my circle. Right. You know? Yeah. The internet kind of just opened the door for everybody yeah, to just yeah. get it the way they wanted to get it, mm -hmm. for, you know, period. You know what and I mean? And things that I was doing that they came back 
Yeah, mm-hmm. so some, like some people from the team came back into my life and was like, so how you doing? So I see you've been out here working. I see. So it's like, okay, y'all. So now they're trying to get a job. You can like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, yeah, so you remember when I was doing that part with the, you know, hey, can we, we, you, we get a job? Oh, wow. No, y'all see what I'm doing out here. Y'all see I'm working, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of how business kind of works. People yeah. don't, a lot of people don't figure, they, they don't have the patience to figure things out. They don't. You know what I mean? They'll just let, let shit go off the rip and then be like, oh, fuck that, and I'm out. Yeah. So, sometimes that's a beneficial decision, but sometimes in the long run that could destroy things. It could be a good or bad thing. But for yeah. me, it was a good thing because I didn't leave on bad terms. Like, I left on good terms. Right, you right. Know? Like, that, that's still my family, RFP. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, that's still my family regardless. I don't talk to them no more. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I understand they put you all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they got you going. Yeah. And so yeah. then from, from so from that, so you were in L.A. this whole time when you were you were doing that? Yeah. Born and raised in L.A., real L.A. baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> real L.A. baby, yeah. Yeah. So everything I pretty much do with my career is out here, yeah. Right. I mean, some things will be in Miami, like I'm going to Miami. Uh-huh. So, you know, I'm, I'm like I travel and that's a good thing too, but I'm pretty much based in LA. <laughs> that's because it's the West Coast, it's the best coast. It's the best coast. I know, they know, what it, they know what it is. Everybody's still catching up, but that's all right. We'll, yeah. we'll run a little bit slower so we can all be together, right? Mm-hmm. We'll kumbaya all together. Yeah. That's so, where it's at so look I was gonna try to get into a little even though we were rolling blunts and that's not a LA thing you know that's the LA thing well I mean we've always smoked blunts but you know I don't know why they try to coin the zigzag as a as a LA thing when blunts are in that sense clearly better that's what you think. <laughs> why do you think that better than paper no why do you think people think that about LA because uh, I don't know um Snoop everybody coined you know, we roll it in zigzags. That was a dog pound thing, and that I actually, that's the OG thing. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that was before <laughs> blunts, right? But I mean, that's I mean, the OG thing. Don't that, me on. for real, that's you know, you know what we're doing now. Huh. Package. You don't gotta break nothing down. You don't gotta. You see what he doing? You, know what <laughs> you just take it out. I like to. Right. I like the raw leaves. Yes, this is the leaf. You know, you, you yeah. like it all packaged up and. Look, up. let me show you how it looks. Yeah. It's fire, y'all. And yeah. I need a brand ambassador deal from these people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so look, it already comes pre-packaged, ready. Look. I know. You see, but I. Nothing. That's not. You know, I roll like you know, gorilla man. fingers. I, I don't roll. I don't roll little. You gotta try it. It spreads. It's a leaf. Little girly. It spreads. Look. It spreads open. Good. Wonderful. What does it do? It spreads open. <laughs> 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 That's just me. I it, it does, doesn't it? What's your sign? What's your sign? What's my sign? Yay. What does that mean? What is your zodiac sign? Uh, Scorpio. Now, what does that mean? What does? What does? You see the scorpion. Yeah, well, you know I mean, how you be thinking. <laughs> you know how you be thinking. I thought every everybody likes that though. I mean, I mean so I'm pretty sure everybody it. thinks that way. A dirty mind is a happy mind. <laughs> That's I why agree. we smile. That's why we smile a lot. I agree. Mm-hmm. So I'm just That's saying. Why I have to ask So, back to back to. Let me ask you one more or a couple more questions about your career. Right. So, you, from DMX, mm-hmm. you come. You, you're well. You still you stayed in LA the whole time. Right. So from DMX, now you're doing your own uh, production, filming and production, everything. Yeah. So all you. All me. <laughs> I'm doing everything. Yeah. Um, I'm doing 
I write, not only do I write um, songs for my music, but I write scripts. Like, so I learned being in this industry, usually I'm, you know, just coming on right. as being an actress, but just me working with different influencers every week, like, it taught me that I could do things behind the cameras too. Like, I could write a script or I can cast somebody for my project or I can direct because when we're on set I'm literally directing like and it's so funny to say because some of my friends be looking at me like oh she's serious <laughs> <laughs> she in the zone and I right. really do I really take it serious and then I, I spend money on my cameraman and when I'm editing I edit as well with my cameraman so it's just what do you, I, I gotta go hard I gotta do it what do you edit on um, Premiere Pro or um, is that like uh, Windows? Um, oh, I can't even think. Not Premiere Pro. Either that one or um, oh damn, I can't even think of it right now. I had a little brain. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Like I do mine on mine's on Final Pro, but I'm on my I'm on uh, working on Mac. Yeah, Final Pro is good. Oh, Adobe. I'm sorry. Adobe, Adobe Premiere is where I edit. I can't even think of it, but Adobe is where I edit uh, my content because Final Cut is cool, but I felt like Adobe was a little easier for me, even though Final Cut looks simpler. But yeah. Adobe allows you to do a lot of a lot of different a lot of inserts and yeah. And yeah. Have you done shots with the drums and stuff yet? Yeah, I did my intro video with the drums. Um, shout out to one of my friends, he's my drone guy. Um, yeah, I did an intro video with that, so it was super dope. And I want to do another intro video. It's for YouTube. For mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah, for um, that's for like my skits and story times and stuff like that. But I want to do one for my series too, like just to have it in the beginning of the series and then let it. That's cool. Yeah. And so, and so, as you as you are on, you're doing YouTube content right now, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna expand into other things? Oh yeah, for sure. Like. My, oh, go ahead. No, like, like, that was like dot dot dot. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't I, an interjection. That was just yeah, like like dot dot dot. No. So the biggest, the okay. So the goal is for me. Like, I don't know if she writes and if she does things behind the scenes, but I want to be on that level as an actress. Oh. And I want to be on the Shanti's level as an artist. Because so people, how are you going to do that? I'm because doing, it's, it's I'm I mean, doing it now. But I mean... And, and and look, no, no, and, and I'm not, look, you know, I'm not saying like, like yeah. no, you can't or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. But music, like I'm, I'm, like, I'm doing the interviews and stuff and I do the YouTube content. But then I think of the, the dedication and the imagination it takes for one to act. Yeah. And that's a, and, and that's a, uh, that's heavy. It is. You know what I mean? Cause like, you it know, I, and another spot that I work at, you know, I work with in a, in a building with a lot of actresses mm -hmm. and, and a lot of actors and stuff. And they'll walk through that building all times of the night talking to themselves and dressing up and shit. It's, it's crazy. It's like an asylum in itself. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? So it's like, but you gotta understand like, well, these people aren't necessarily crazy. They're training or they're practicing yeah. their roles or yeah. they're doing what they do. We have to put ourselves as that character. Whatever character or role we have, we have to be that person. Right. So you have to really put your, yourself in that mindset of, of putting yourself in, in, in their shoes. Right. You know? So that's that's a good actor. So like, but music, it takes the same dedication. It does. So like as MCing, like me MCing since the, the, since the 90s, yeah. you, when you get into the booth, you putting, you, I wouldn't necessarily say in your acting, but you're putting a certain uh, uh, character into your words and a certain timbre and tone into your words right. that breaks it alive. Yeah. And that could take a lifetime to master. I so, mean, but if you got it, you got it. It doesn't take a lifetime. If you already have that talent, you can learn the industry. Yeah, the, the most talented but, people still train and practice. That's how yeah, you, make, you, just how you maintain your rest. talent, right? Yeah, facts, facts. So, so yeah. I guess I'm saying you're gonna talk about you wanna be 
up there on the same level as you said Ashanti, right? Mm -hmm. And then the actress that you mentioned to, you know. Finale. Right. Yeah. So. I feel like I'm. Um, how are you, how you going to do that? Both are like my babies. Acting and singing. Like I dance, I model, I do all of that stuff too. Right. But my babies, for me, that I'm passionate about is acting and singing. Acting is easy for me. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing. It's like, okay, I go out there, I do my thing. Like I could get a script the same day and memorize my lines and be ready to be in that character. It's easy, right? But when it comes to my music, I have to put money into the studio time. I got to put money into shows if i want to open up for a celebrity i have to make sure i sell out at least 20 tickets like it's so much especially right. being doing this independent with no label like i'm i learned the the, yeah like i learned yeah. the label with dms but i like i'm doing it independently and that's fine but i'm i get more emotional when it comes to the music though right wow. like i find myself crying or i find myself frustrated because it's it's hard it's so hard for me personally well, what like, do you find difficult just um really just getting on like you know like i had a single on spotify itunes um i had a you know soundcloud i had a single yeah. out there called yg high and i was performing opening up for celebrities on my thing yeah. and i had to remove the single because i was just like I made some money. I made like um, a rack off the iTunes. <laughs> like, you know, like, like people fuck with it, like they love that song. But right. it's just like I was so like I didn't have my visuals yet. At right. the time, my money wasn't where it needed to be. Right. So I didn't have the visuals yet. So I was just like, how am I gonna like really put this out there the right way? This is so frustrating. I'm so passionate about this, doing this on my own, like. So it was a lot, but guess what? I'm gonna still do it because now I can be my own investor. Uh -huh. Thank God to the other jobs that I have that can help me be my own investor for projects that I need to do. So I took a little break with the music, but I'm getting right back to it, baby. I'm yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, cause like that's that's like the issue that not really the issue that I have, but yeah. like being an MC, yeah. you go through this 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 stage of like, um, you know, I feel like okay, I'm busting. So, so I feel like I'm saying some shit niggas should be listening to. Right. And then you realize that really don't nobody really give a fuck. You're just saying what you're saying. But That's then, no, no, but then, you, but then it hits you. Some people will listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, then you get to this point where you're like, okay, now, like, like with me, I get it now. Yeah. You, you, you have to just, it's, you have to spit what you're going to spit mm -hmm. with no, with no apologies. Yeah. Yeah, because so it's like once you get to that stage, yeah. then I think that's when you you begin to create you begin to create without worry. Yeah. Because right. then you won't give a fuck about what they that's say. Because that's what you. This is what I'm. That's I'm, what you got to do as a. This performer. is my toys. Yeah, that's what you got to do as a performer. <laughs> Guess what? Right. It's our diary, right? Right. So we're letting the world hear what's in, what's up here. Right. That's how the diary. Like right. So that's bold within itself. That's the talent within itself to be able to express that with strangers. You know what I mean? Like, or without they, fear, they, you know what I mean? Without fear. And they either gonna like it or not. Yeah. I performed in front of 2,000 people before. Right. And, and that singing? might not be a lot for somebody, but for me, that was amazing. Yeah. And, I, and I was in control of the crowd. Well, I mean, shit, like, you got you like know, what? Like, that feels good. When I used to open up for celebrities, like, uh -huh. I opened up for Fabulous, Wale, Trey Songs, like different people at OHM. Yeah. It's a club in Hollywood called OHM. So, um, that's what I meant by selling tickets and you gotta you gotta go hard. If you don't sell twenty tickets before you have to perform, you're not gonna be on that stage. Yeah. And if you they used to do talents to shows like that at Pasadena. Yeah. All the time. And if you're not ready for that stage, yeah. knowing you're opening up for that celebrity that's walking in when you're done performing and you're not hyping them up, Y'all yeah. ready to see Trey Songs, y'all ready? If you're not if you don't have that in you, you're right. They're gonna know. And and they're, like, and they're, they're gonna know. Yeah, and, you, and they're gonna expect your people to come support you mm -hmm. to help hype this other artist up. Mm -mm. No, I don't expect that. I know what I have to do as a performer. I gotta yeah. make them feel how I feel. No, but I mean, like, you know, have to sell the tickets. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You have to get yourself support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're not going to get your supporters there. You're not going to get your fans there. Yeah. Like, you're not going to get them to get your supporters there. So they come to see you. Mm -hmm. And then you're hyping the, you know, you're doing this to open for the artist. Right. Or for the headliner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, you it's know. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> 
You want your, I want my cheering section to cheer for your cheering section. <laughs> so we all cheer. Yay! So when you got everybody cheering, that's yeah. how you know you a real artist. Right. Period. That's how you know this is what I really want to do. Like, damn, I have control over the crowd for a little bit. Even though that's not my crowd, that's their crowd. But I'm here and I got to do it. And y'all really fuck with me? Oh, shit. Like, I'm in. Like, I know I can do this. You so know? let me ask you a question. What would what what brings you to this? Is it would it be the money that brings you to this, no. or would it be the 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 fact of knowing you have the power to influence that many minds mm. on what you're saying? I only got the power, and I don't want to say power really because that's like you know I don't want to. What I mean, what, but that, that word, word but is. I feel you. But, but I mean, what else can you yeah, call it? I mean, and that doesn't mean that that, that I don't mean that in yeah. a disrespectful manner. No, no, no. But if they're giving you the attention, right. you have the floor. You have control. Right. And I had to, it took me a while to actually create my brand. And like, had to, I had to sit down and focus and be like, okay, this is my brand. What is my brand? So now I have a brand. Now I'm working. I have my LLC. Like, it's, it's different things in the background of business where I had to, like, get down to it. Like, right, you know? right. But um, I feel like I'm grateful. Yeah, I, I, I think I've been cussing, and I've been cussing this whole month. I, I, I ain't really blew it out of box, but you know. But, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But like, you know, just noticing that people really fuck with me because they see that I'm doing it. I'm not really doing it for that. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm just doing what I love. And, and if it gets recognized by the right people and they can call themselves my fans or my supporters, that's everything to me. So the ultimate goal is just to how far I can go as a creator and with my talent and love what I do and make that bread, period. Because I'm a single mother. I still got to make the bread, pay the bills on my own. Right. My daughter. Right. Nobody's helping me. Nobody's doing it for me. Right. So I'm going to still go for my dreams and still have a business. And part of, you know, your business is your dream, so. Period. I mean, that makes sense because you get a lot of people that will go for their, go for their dream and not even include they business or what they're doing to make money. Right. They're on some other, I work at an office yeah. and I want to go hang out over here in another country. So I'm just going to take time off and not make money. You know what That's I mean? That's true. You get a lot of people that do stuff like that too. That's true. I can't take time off. Right. I don't have time to take time off. Like, I got a kid. Like, and I love that I have a kid because if I didn't, then maybe I would feel like, oh, I could take time off. Does, does the father involve himself at all um, with you with your daughter? Not financially, but physically he does. He is a good father, like like literally physically being there mm. when I need him. Not all the time, but it's enough that that's okay for me. I don't have him on child support. I don't run after him for money. Like yeah. I'd rather get my own bag. Get my bag. Oh, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, nigga. Right. Now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to. When you bring up the baby daddy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get you. I know it was an emotional, you know. Was some, no, but yeah, I'm you, know, saying, you know. I'm just saying, man. You know. Where are we? You know, so, yeah. He sees what, what I do. So, yeah. You know, that's, that's where I'm at with it. I just love just being transparent and talented and just making that content and mm -hmm. keep Does he support your, your, your content creating? He does. He be watching my stuff with his little girlfriend, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you do that, right? They both support. Thank you. Yeah, he, he do that so, so he can say, you know, I used to date her, right? I could, oh, my God. I don't, I don't you know, I, I don't be pulling no ugly girls, so mm -hmm. this is what you got to get. You better get your shit together because this is what I used to be dating. This is, that, that, that's the type of shit I'm used I'm to. This is what I'm used to. <laughs> I mean, that's a conversation that's beautiful because he knows what type of woman I am. Yeah. And he knows that our daughter is always straight and I'm raising a little queen. And I'm going to be a good mom. Uh-oh. It's, it's good. A little queen. What's that mean? She's my princess, but she's going to be a little queen. Yeah. Like her mom. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, y'all. Uh, like, I'm releasing these moves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a way. I have a tendency of uh, bringing things out. <laughs> okay, see. That people aren't used to saying, Jay. He has to continue that sentence because you said bringing things out. He loves yeah. it like that. Yeah, I don't. Talks. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be good security if I told everything, right? Oh, my God. I mean, I can't, I can't deny that. He's amazing. Um, every time I've been on his Longer than that. We had, remember, we had that conversation. That's how much weed she smoked. Yeah. We were smoking the last time you had this conversation, and this, this I've been knowing her three years pre-pandemic, so we're oh like, my God. we're like almost what seven? We like six years in. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. He gives that energy, like you know. So yeah, that's important. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you very much. Of course. Yes. You know, here I am interviewing you, and you're talking about me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't start crying on here. Right? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna cry. We, we we will cut the tape. We will cut the tape yeah. right. Casey, no tears. Not that, not that. No, I'm just kidding. No, we have to be shooting. It's Trace Scorpio shooting. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get her to tell me what the Scorpio thing. What does that mean, the Scorpio and the horoscope? Now, see, I, mean, I understand these things a little different, but I don't understand the way the horoscope is today, to this day. Um, I just feel like what well, horoscopes is all about how you were raised, too. So you can't just be like, oh, you're a tourist, or are you pretty? It's about how you're raised. Right. You know, like we might, we don't take crap or we about our bread or we freeze or like we're known for things. That doesn't mean that defines you as a person because right. you were raised how, you know, your parents raised you how you raised me, my parents raised me how they raised me. So we're going to be different people. Right. But we can relate and connect in a certain way. Right. Well, what, well, wouldn't, well, would those, would you say those traits could be found out? Through any time with any person of the year. Oh yeah, it can be. So it, yeah. So when you, the term of, of the, the horoscope of the Scorpio, like what does that mean? I know we're born in November, right? Your birth is November. November next. Yeah, July twenty first. Period. Yeah. See? But yeah. Thanksgiving kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving. We're the yeah. gifts that keep on giving. Yeah. Why is it Scorpio in a water sign? That's just what we are. Everybody thinks we're fire, but we're in So, cause see, this, this is why this is why this trips me out. I've heard that the Scorpion is a water sign. Yeah. See. You got the big. Yeah. Like, keep that. I see. I'm gonna pass this to you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have you looking like an old China woman before you come walking out here. You gotta be all tight. I be having them Asian eyes, but I got these. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so like like, but then I heard that that uh, like when you read on on the, the astrology on the hands, that my hands are earth, and then this this the the, 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 the horoscope is water. Right. I don't understand how the I don't understand how that works. You understand what I'm saying? No, nah, not not for Greek or Roman. I have astrology, but or or even I think Egyptian. But the Egyptian astrology is a little different. Though. Egyptian astrology is different. Yeah. But I love Egyptian. This 
So, so what you know about That's why I'm Saturday. I have different TV Saturday than me. I have the I before Saturday. I have the on Saturday. I'm really like, I'm connected. I don't know how, but I just feel connected. That's why I study that. I study art history as well. Right. That is a part of What do you mean, art history? Yeah. Yeah, you should. You should feel connected to Egypt. I mean, considering I believe in where we are, Egyptian. Yeah, I mean, the order was twenty thousand years old. So, or twenty thousand years to the date that they wrote it was twenty thousand years, and that was supposed to be the six thousand, seven thousand year old plate it was on. And that's why. That get rid of me. That right. How do we even get that history? How do we even? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like that part amazing. is really, really that's gone. Amazing. You know that's what I mean? Me. So I, yeah, I understand that. But so you do? You, have you read the Book of the Dead? I haven't. I have not. I have read um, the Secret. Have you ever read the, the Book of the Secret? Yeah, but that's not that doesn't have nothing to do with, with Egyptology, does it? But no, it doesn't. It just I'm just saying like manifestation. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, but I'm just talking about books. <laughs> <laughs> manifestation. I'm talking about books now. <laughs> do you believe in manifestation? <laughs> Explain how that works. Um, I have a vision board at home, and I don't ever put a time limit on my goals and what I want to do for myself. So I write my goals out for like the month or the year or two years from now. Right. And just things that I want for myself and for my daughter. And when I when I manifest it, first of all, I pray every day. Like you know, so that's that's first. But I also you know, meditating when I smoke my weed, I meditate a little bit, and I Switch. just uh, get into that mode of manifestation. Like, this is what I want. This is, like, I gotta envision it in order to have it in real life. Like, but I have to see it first. But you do it, though, right? Yeah, I do it. So if you're you doing it... You have to work it, towards it as so, well. You don't just manifest and it's magically gonna fall into your head. But that's what manifestation means, man! No, it doesn't. Manifestation means you're Yeah, but, you, but, it's hot. but just how you pointed out, right? You can't manifest something and have it just fall out of the sky. You have to do it. You have to work towards it. So if you're doing it, yes. or you're working towards your goal that you're setting or what you're saying that you're manifesting, it's not manifesting anymore. You're doing it. You are doing it. But what if it's something that you think you can't do? What if, it's, what if I say, I want a Bentley. Let me manifest that. I'm not just gonna get a Bentley by working. I have to, I have to have, I have to manifest it. I have to see it, vision board. I see that car. I know I'm gonna get it. I don't know how I'm gonna get it. But you're gonna aim, you're gonna aim a way to get it. But I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing. Because the Bentley ain't just gonna roll up like. Mm -mm. Exactly. So I you're gonna have to continue to do what I'm doing. Right. And, and continue to focus on what I want. And right. I'm gonna make it happen. Right. Right. But that's God too. God is gonna bless you when you're doing the work. So you, you can't just manifest stuff. Oh, right, right. right. So not. Manifestation is just you wishing on a star and it's going to happen. So you better be Sorry. careful about the secret. The secret is you have to do the work. You, you have to do the work regardless. That's, you can't pray to God that's about the your secret. blessings and think it's going to happen. You got to get your ass up and do the work. Okay? No, for real. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You got to get your ass up and do the work. It don't just fall in your that's lap. That's how this life works in general. But I do believe in it, though. I do. You believe in, in doing the work? I believe in doing the work, and I believe in manifestation. Yeah. You have to because think about if, what you're going to do first. Because if I didn't manifest that, or things that I want that's, that's bigger than me, mm -hmm. I, would, I would just do the work for the life that I'm living for now. If well, you wouldn't, have, a, you wouldn't have direction, goal, right? Yeah, that's You wouldn't direction. have a purpose. Thank you. That's direction. You know so what I mean? It, it helps you. Like, I have to do my schedule every week. Every Sunday, I do my schedule, and I put little sticky notes on my little fridge mm -hmm. just to show me, like, okay, I have my manifestation list. Cool. I see what I want to do within the year or two years or three. Big things that I probably can't see right now, right? Mm -hmm. 
But every Sunday for the week and for me striving forward to what I got to do, I'm definitely putting everything Monday through Friday, I mean Monday through Sunday, what I have to do throughout the whole week. So let me, let me ask you this. What do you want from this? What do I want from this? What's the end goal? And, and I don't mean, I don't want to say it, I, I say that for lack of better expression. No, I can because, tell you that because, be. Yeah, because you manifest. You don't have to. I don't want to say manifest, but the energy continues. But so, I mean, at where you're 29, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh-huh. at that, at that this age. Yeah. <laughs> at, at, at this age, you're 29, you yeah, know, yeah. Where, where do you, where do you want to end up? Um. And. And, and and there's a there's a B question. I'll let you. Answer a. Oh, I'm sorry. So there's A question. Is a question is good. Yeah, where you want so, to go? So, um, career wise, I find myself being a boss. Like even though like I'm talented with acting, singing, and all these other attributes that I do in this career, oh. I'm a boss. So the end goal is me having a performing arts studio and giving kids the opportunity to get scholarships to go to college. We always have scholarships for sports and all this other stuff, football and basketball and volleyball and all this stuff. But we never had nothing for performing arts, singing, dancing, acting, the arts. I want to give that. I don't know how old I'm going to be when I do this, but I want my performing arts school. Mm -hmm. And then I also want dance studios. Dance studios for kids to learn how to dance. And also pole dancing studios. Honey, because passion is going to step up in there as well. Pole dancing. They can't, they can't exercise without being on a pole. It's just fun. It's something that's fun and it can be a form of exercise. Mm-hmm. Or you can do it for your man. That's a whole lot of fun things that you can you do. Can that's, do a, <laughs> that's a form of exercise. You can exercise for your man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's like that's the end goals for me. And then when it comes to my OF, yes, I have only been. When it comes to that, I want to teach classes for girls to learn how to really do this and not feel like, oh, it's porn or it's this or it's that. No, it's not. You get to do whatever you want. So when you have your fans that's coming in to subscribe, I'm going to give you the game. A real game. So there's not going to be any X-rated content on your own plan? Oh, no, it's X-rated content in the inbox. That's uh, the trick. I'm not going to give them too much. Uh, but I would teach them how to game goals and how you turn it into a business that's lucrative for you to pay for. So yeah, that's the end goal of the things that I'm gonna do in that aspect. But like I said, when I leave in the shanty, that's you know, that's the end goal. So you're gonna be pretty fucking busy here. Yeah, yeah, I'm busy now. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> God damn. It's already starting. It's about to be 30 already. God damn. Every day. No breaks. So the B question to that is, are you single? Are you going to stay single? No. The end goal for that, I do want to be married. Like, I have a daughter. I do want a son. But if I decide that's up to God, if I end up having another daughter, I'm going to I want a son. When I get married, I need the ring this time. The last time, yeah. I had the ring. Me and my baby daddy was proposed. Oh. We, I was with him for six years. So, you know. Why are you getting married? Got married? Why not? Why you know? Yeah, well, I had his name tatted. He had my name tatted on the ring finger. It was, it was weird. It was, it was, it was serious. It was serious. So, but um, I mean, without if it's, if it's a. Uh, I need to be that serious with somebody else and go all the way, and then I'm happy. If you do that, do you think that's going to conflict with with all the the content, everything that you get involved in? My daughter didn't conflict with what I'm doing. Well, that's your daughter. Your, kid, saying, your kids are going to grow up in the environment that you like. True. So, I mean, they're, they're not oh, going to... Me being pregnant now, like if I decided to do that like within a year. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. When you're saying you want another, uh, like you want to be married. I said, do you think that that's going to conflict with your marriage? No. The content and all that, everything, none of that? Oh, my husband that. has to be understanding of what he's signing up for. When you meet me, you follow love with me, you follow love with everything that comes with you. 
And if you can't, you can find it. And you're not the one for me. Simple as that. Did we check her for weapons before we brought her? <laughs> Let me here. look here, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I understand. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't think it's gonna be conflictual? I mean, I don't think so. Because I mean, what what man are you gonna find that's gonna fall in line under what you're saying? I mean, he's probably gonna fall in line under what I'm saying. We're that's where the conflict's gonna be. I'm gonna fall in line to what he's saying as well. I'm gonna be. He ain't gonna want nobody to see chocolate no more. Oh, you talking about women? Yeah, the whole oh, thing. I mean, all of that's going to be encompassed, right? Because yeah. you're going to marry. When, when so once you get married, he's like, you said, he's going to get involved married, in all the oh, things. Sorry. He's getting involved you. in all the things that you said that no, you want to set yourself I'm up to. I'm thinking about everything else career-wise. Only fans, that's going to end. Once I have the ring on my finger, sweetie, I'm already going to be training different girls. So you're going to pull all that? And, I'm already going to have a line of girls that I have the other business with. Right, right. So I'm going to be training them. I don't need my only fans no more because I'm making Oh, you're going to put them on? Yes. Oh, so you're going to do some, like, yes. Andrew Tate shit. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband. Some Heidi Fleiss type. So, so, some Heidi Fleiss type yeah, thing. Yeah, and I'm not going to be doing right. this anymore. I don't, don't want to do this forever. Right. This was just a stepping stone for me to be my own person. Like, I need to be my own person. So that means so seriously. Yeah. So, like, that's some, some nigga shit. So you gonna have to get a nigga to bow down to some nigga shit. You ain't no nigga. You, <laughs> you just gotta be mad. You ain't no nigga. Me, I like the nigga that be in charge. That be like, baby girl, I see you. I see what you doing. You want your business shit. I'm on my business shit. So I he alters you. your 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 business, like, like why? Well, because he's in charge. You said you you just said mm-hmm. I want a nigga that's in charge. Of me. Of you. Personally. So I, I didn't say my business. <laughs> you gotta let me in. Ooh, you want your chore today. Period. So you trying to do this like 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 how the government does with the church and the state being separate. Ooh, I don't know. But 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 they still in bed I together. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just church and state supposed to be separate, but you know they still somehow intertwining it. I mean, yeah. Daddy really should. <laughs> we come together when we come home. We be a family to our family. Right. So, do you, so financially, that doesn't matter. As long as you make enough money to do what you need to do, it don't matter what For he does. For me and my dream. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it don't matter. So, and then if he's doing what he needs to do financially, and we come together, right. that's all that matters. If he's not doing his thing, uh-huh. then it's not going to work. It has to be collectively us striving, getting it, being a team. Okay, so so idealistically, as long as you're you're able to fund what your dream and your goals are, it's not gonna matter what the other guy or what the other partner has. So like if he's no, making, it is gonna like, but That's if he, what I said. so like, what if he's able, right? And so he has to, to be able to fund his own shit. It has to match you. Well, what or, if, or top me. What, if, what if his funding doesn't cost as much as your funding? But if he's on his shit and he's doing his business as a businessman, yeah. I can't blame him for that. We're yeah. still collectively bringing in income. So like, like for instance, what, let's say. He's securing his worth and what he's doing mm-hmm. at forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. And let's say it takes one hundred and fifty to fund what you're doing. Right. You got, you, know, you got a lot of. But I'm funding myself. Right. So if you're funding yourself, is this fifty going to matter? It's not going to matter because he can take care of the house with me. You gonna respect him the same way? Hell yeah, because he's taking care of the house. Nigga, pay the bills in the house. Eh. If I'm taking care of my business, come right. home, you need to take care of the house, and I'm gonna take care of the house as a woman. And then, and then, and then and I go do what I do. Here, baby, period. If you can't take care of the house as a man, you're not for it. Because I don't want all that stress on me. 
I'm already doing it now. Right. So if a man can be like, okay, baby, I got the house, I got the bills, you do your shit with your funding because your shit going crazy. You're right, right, right. But, you know, we come together for our kids and whatever they need. You going to share? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoever you going to be. Yeah. <laughs> You're not capping. You're not. You're not capping right now. You gonna share? I'm not capping. I share like I'm the only child, by the way, and I share. Everything. Yeah, but you know how only child syndrome is. Like, yeah, shout out to Kevin Sanders for that one. That's what it used to be for me. My mom got me out of that when I was ten. Uh. And like with my friends now, they come over to my house. I be having drink, weed. I pay for food for people in my house. I cook if I need to. Like I'm that friend. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really genuine. And I really get emotional if like the friendship don't work because I'm like, wow, I feel all of that. Not to say like I did this and this and it. It's just like mentally like, damn, I really fucked with you. Like right, right. it hurts me, like when friendships have to end and stuff. But You said they have to end like that. Yeah, because I have friends from middle school, high school, college to this day. And some new bitches that be in my life don't oh. stick. And it'd be like Is it, like, is it because females are that competitive in what you're doing? I or do they think they, they see an advantage? Like, mm -hmm. in like they look at me like I'm a nigga. That they can come up off of me. Like, girl, just because I'm but, a businesswoman and yeah, I'm but, in my but, lane, don't mean but you step in my lane. But you, yeah. you know, you raw nigga shit. I mean, with look at the conversation we just yeah, had. I am. So, so I, I mean. I they're intrigued by that because I'm a female. And it's like, yeah, she is doing it. Is a mom. It must be girls don't have kids. So it probably is intriguing, and I do want to help, but it's like, bro, don't take advantage of me or try to stop my shit. Because, I mean, that's what they're like, going to do to a guy. And that's what I'm saying. So, so I mean, girls maybe they feel that you. Like, girl, you know. I'm about to build your career. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put you in on a few things, but bitch, you ain't going to be me. You ain't going to have my schedule every week. Yeah, that's what no. they're trying to figure. You that's know? what they're trying to do. Yeah. And I, and I quick, quickly uh, nipping in the bud. Like, nah, sweetie, I put you in. Yeah. Does that happen a lot? It's happened. It, it happened probably three different times with three different girls. Yeah? Mm hmm Like, recent? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The last one was, like, two years ago, and it was just weird. Well, two years is not like, recent. She was, no, the last one. I mean, oh. the very first one. Oh. The very first one. The last one was a few weeks ago. Oh. But the very first one was two years ago, and that was the most scariest situation. They just try to be like you, for real. Like, it's scary. But we ain't gonna get into it. <laughs> Identity and everything, huh? Just like, what? Where my friends is looking at her, like, why are you doing what she do? Why are you using your hands and your your words like she does? Why are you trying to dress like her? Like, she be getting weird. I don't know. She be getting weird. Well, you know, motherfuckers go through a whole lot there to try to. And it's like, know, find to, yourself. To, to I'm that type of friend that encourages people. Let me encourage you for you to be the star that you are. Right. You know? And I believe in all my friends. I love all my friends. I treat them like family because I'm the only child. So you're either my sister or my brother if I really fuck with you. Or you just an associate. Period. Like, right. you're either in a circle or not. And if you're in a circle, you're my family. Like, you know? That's why I get so emotional. Like, shit like that. Thank you. You sound like you're about to cry. Don't cry on this motherfucker. Show you. I'm good. You're getting all emotional and I'm sentimental and shit. I didn't get so I could if I wanted to. Yeah. I ain't about to cry. Yeah. Mm, I didn't get these for the semi series. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's wild. So, and, and that's and that's pretty much interacting with all the club stuff that you do and yeah, all the people that people. you. Yeah. yeah. And being out there. Mm -hmm. And does that help also boost your, your acting and your filming and everything? It helps boost my um, social media presence. Because um, I love meeting new people. Like, you know, like, I'm just like a, I'm really the type of person that's just like a social butterfly. Like, it's easy for me to meet new girls, new guys. Like, you know, it's easy. Right. So I network within doing that. And it don't even have to be someone I want to network with. I just hmm. And then it ends up being this person or that person. Like, you know. So, yeah, it's just easy. 
on new personalities. Like, you know, like it's, it's pretty easy for me. So I've always been like that as a kid. Mm-hmm. My daughter's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always talking, so, always wanting to yeah. ask a question, is curious. Yeah, being in a mix. Right. <laughs> I understand being that completely. Mix, like, but in so, a good way, though. W- what do you mean in a good way? Isn't it always? You can be in a mix and be messy. I don't want to be that. Oh, like mischievous? Yeah. I you don't have any mischief? No, I think people have that against me. With me. Because I'm so mysterious. But you're not innocent. Hell no, I'm not So innocent. then, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they be trying to get to know who Shara Monet is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because some people know that's close to me, and some people don't know, and it's up to me to tell you. Like, right. You know, like I fuck with you, so right. I'm here. I'm telling you. But if it's like a person that I know that's just trying to do the extras, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. They, hate <laughs> they hate that shit. They really do. Like, damn. You don't tell them? <laughs> I've been telling people my blessings after they have been. You don't never know what's going on before. Or even when they do nothing, you just don't see it on Instagram. Uh-huh. See part of it on Instagram. See part of it. <laughs> you, see, you, you, you see, you know, all kinds of other things and pictures and stuff. You mm-hmm. see part of what happens on Instagram. So, being that how you, you're, you're 29 and you see how everything is going and you're doing what you're doing and you live a life the way you live. The purpose of you being a woman and who you are, do you feel that you've discovered this? Or you still feel that you're trying to figure out exactly what am I supposed to be doing here as a woman? Or do you know, is this all part of it? You know what I mean? Because I, I ask you this because, like you said, I don't, the way I know you mm-hmm. is more of a personal way. I can, I have six, I can see the ambition. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, I, and a lot of that, I, have, I share a lot of the same sentiment in those ambitions. Right, right. So I know where that ambition comes from being me as a man, mm-hmm. but I'm not a female. Mm-hmm. And to see a female, a person of man, to have the same ambitions that I have, knowing that you're not me. Right. It's fascinating. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's So can you, it. so when I say your purpose, has, has this, is this your purpose? This is my purpose. That's why I'm so passionate about it. Right. Define right. tough skin. Like, if you're not ready for this industry, like, it's, it's hard. It's a lot of times where you're going to feel like, oh, my God, this is it. I made it. And get your hopes up, and then it's just nothing. Or it's just, like, not what you expected, right? Right. But if you keep going after that, after shit like that, right. you know you really want it. Right. You know you're determined to get to where you want to be because you found it. And you do it in yourself. So, yes, this is my purpose. When I wake up every day, I'm happy. I'm paying my rent by doing what I'm supposed to do every day and still living on my purpose, yeah. even though I know it's supposed to be more and I feel it within me. What's that like more? Like, it's supposed to be more. Like, like, like what do you like, see? <laughs> like, I got to go harder. Like, it's, I got to, like, my shit about to be on different levels. Like, people could already look at me, come to my apartment and be like, girl, you made it. No, I didn't. Sweet. I, it's, it's, so I'm when you say more, what do you want? More? Like, I want to keep reaching for more. I told you the end goal. Right. So I got to keep that's not going to happen. Like, my end goal is big goals. Like, this is big ass budgets. Big, right. like, you know? So, I got to keep going for myself, for my passion right now. So, it's beyond the dance it's beyond, studio. It's beyond it's the, helping the, other people. the school, the institution. It's helping other kids. It's beyond that? Yeah, yeah. It's beyond me. But I want to start with me and let my dreams come true and right. then help other people. Right. So, that's why I'm feeling it inside. Like, ah, no, it's more. It's more. Right. Yes. And your existence of a woman is to this moment. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, I'm happy. Like, I'm going to just keep going. And I'm going to show her she can do it. That's another thing. That's my other purpose. To show her, oh, your mom is better. Are you going to raise her to, to be married early or later? Um, whatever comes, whatever is for her. Is like, for would her. you advise her to do the things that you're doing right now for your life? No. I want her to do the things she wants to do. Right. In her life. Right. I will never be the parent that will force something on her because I'm doing it. And I want her to be like me and be my twin. No, sweetie. I want her to do what she wants to do. Right. So when she grows up, she's going to be like, damn, my mom put this into this or this into this sport or whatever she want to do. And I'm going to be supporting her. Right. Like, if she don't want to do this industry stuff, she don't have to because it's crazy. Right. I really don't even want her to. But I'm training Why her. Why you say you don't want her to? Because I know how evil the industry would be. But I know how to maneuver through it. So I already did it. So I can do that for her. So her, she, she would yeah, never Yeah, well, you'd have to teach her. She would never see that. But, but when if, she gets older, she will. If, you, if, if you're going to teach somebody something, they're going to have to see what you're talking about. Yeah. To also learn what you're telling them. Oh, yeah. You I'm can't, like, 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 you can only tell and warn a motherfucker so much before they say, hey, uh, I don't know what you're talking about because I haven't really seen it. And then you walk down the street and you see the nigga jump out the bushes with the pipe and you're like, oh, that's what you was talking about. Now you learn it. She knows stories. Yeah. Like, I'm very upfront with her. Like, she's yeah. 10 years old and I tell her everything. Like, I do. Not everything. Yeah. <laughs> Did she ask a lot of questions? Uh huh. No, you're done. Well, my daughter, yeah. Did you? She's a Sagittarius. She asked cool questions. What? <laughs> you know, she asked but yeah, she asked a lot of questions. But I asked, I did too with my mom. And my mom told me everything. She didn't share her code nothing. She was very blunt. About how old were you when you started asking questions to your mom? Mm, I was probably like 12 to ask real questions. Did you have your dad too? Yeah, right. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Does he? He was in and out of jail all my life. Does he? Is he aware of what you're doing and everything? Yes. The internet is. and everything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't taking care of your own daughter. Hey, but. And I wouldn't. He's aware. He's aware. I wouldn't even say it like. And I'm not even. I don't even like. I, don't I mean, like, like, but has he tried to say that now? He you didn't shouldn't. say nothing. Oh, okay. So then. Because yeah. he knows you can't. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I don't even like to say that. I'm not even like that. We didn't raise you. Can't you can't say nothing. Yeah. What the? And you see that I'm a good mother and I don't ask you for shit. Yeah. And I still love you and I still make sure you spend time with my daughter. You ain't gonna say nothing to me. So good. I'm yeah. grown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be 30, honey. I'm grown. My mom knows though. And I talk to her and I, I explain everything to her within the passion world. And she knows my passion in the world with me acting and directing all that. But the OnlyFans world. Right. I had to sit her down and show her my only fence. You like, showed your only fence to your mom? I did. I was like, this is what I'm doing. Let me show you my wall. What? What is she? You don't have nothing to worry about. Because all these bitches think you just want to be popping pussy and they and I was like, I'm taking professional pictures of right. lingerie. I'm showing her, like letting her know. I was like, in the inbox, if I charge more, I will be doing something that out of the ordinary that I might not do. Right. So, and I told her, like, my mom is my heart. Like, I love You said her, out so. of the ordinary. <laughs> out of my character. Because <laughs> they look at me as a YouTube girl, so that's out of my character. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to pay a pretty penny for what you need in the inbox. Wow. But, yeah. I, I'm really open with her. So, just as long as she What was her knows, response? Um, She didn't like it at first until I showed her. Because she's a visual person like me. Let me see what you even though I'm grown, she, I don't... I would argue her. that most people are visual. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? And like, I don't, yeah, I don't ask her for money. I've been working since I was 16 because my mom was a single mother and I never liked being in the struggle. Right. So I haven't asked her for money since I was 16. Literally. Right. I don't like, I would, that would never be the first person I'll go to. Never. I understand. But yeah, so she didn't do it. She was like, okay, girl. So you were just kind of confiding in your mom and mm -hmm. just letting her know. I really close. Yeah. Yeah. But just as long as my mom knows, that's all I care about. 
shit, my dad, my dad is like, I don't even, I can't even ask him for advice because he'd be like, nigga, you've been doing what you want to do since you was 16, 15 years mm-hmm. old. Yeah, so he's like, you'll figure it out. He walks off. Sounds like my mom. Figure it out. <laughs> you'll figure it out. And then he walks off. So I'll be like, well, damn, dad, I can think about this, that. And you've been doing what you want to do. Why do they say that? You'll figure, figure it out. Because it, it, Why I, is it? I think it's, like it's, the, it's the spiteness. Like, it's the, it's, I think it comes from the fact that you never really asked them for nothing. Okay. And so they've always been like, you hard headed. You Figure always, yeah, you, you always doing what you want to do. I done told you this, I done told you that. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. So since you didn't want to listen then, I ain't got shit to tell you now. Figure it out, nigga. Figure Damn, it out. That's like the harshest thing that I think my mom told me. But it's okay. Oh, my dad, is, my dad is infamous for it. He, he doesn't, my dad doesn't, my dad for wise. He doesn't give oh, He like, like, you do it a giggle. Figure it out, nigga. <laughs> Walk off and be like you. Right, and watch you do it. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You because they be like, oh, my baby figured it out. I'll be like, you can't it's share. You can't share in that pride. That's love, y'all. That's what the fuck that is. You can't share in that pride. It's, it's all like, mine. Yeah. You need help. No, seriously, that's what it is. Yeah, they, my dad is so hilarious. You understand that when you get older and you be like, oh, I see what they was doing. Yeah, no, he, see, he's hilarious. I see what was going on. So it's like, okay, you don't want to listen. Like, damn, okay. I've been hard headed for a long time. Me too, but I'm not like that with my daughter. Huh? I don't want to be like that with my daughter. What do you mean? Like, I'm I'm hard on her, but I'm not, I wouldn't kick her out at 18 because I want to, like, polish her for her to want her own, right? So I don't ever want to, like, cut her off. But see, like, 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 like I said, I have 11 year old. And, and my daughter is like, Traditionally, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm gonna go back to what's to what's written. She has to stay with me until her husband come gets it from me. You, as a woman, are not supposed to guarantee those things because you're supposed to have a, a, a husband or, or a man to do that for. You. Now you have to guarantee those things. So I understand what you're saying okay. <laughs> when you say not to say yeah, but that's yeah, saying, Are you gonna do it that way? Already. Yeah, because so. are you gonna keep it that way? Because that means you, that means you'll have to keep her next to you that, until the guy has to come to you. Now, yeah, hey. I, gotta, I have to keep it that way. Hey, Miss Monet, until I get can I marry your daughter? Can I marry your daughter, Miss I'm, Monet? The, 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 <laughs> the power that I have, and we said we don't like using that, but I fully lost it. But the power I have within me and a woman with my intuition shows me who a person is. And do you think you'd be able to to vet the right man for her? Um, She might not listen to me, but I don't know. Just like my mama knows. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She don't have to listen to me, but I would still tell her what I want to tell her if I'm reading the the guy that's trying to date her. Yeah. Like my mom told me. I hate it. She might hate it. So, but you didn't listen? No, I didn't. And do you feel I that? I did not want to hear shit she had to say. Well, why not? Until stuff started going left, and I was like, "Some of what you said." Wait, but it's okay, but okay. And she was like, "I told you this and this and that." But but it, let's like, just say, if, what if, if your dad would have told you that? Would you have listened? Yeah, because he wasn't my life that much. So if a man has to say something about another man, I would probably listen more. I would probably listen more. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like my dad is telling me this for a reason because he barely was there for me. So if he got something to say about this man, it must be something serious. Yeah, because see that that's the that's the thing that um that gets me. Like like with me, I'm 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 already I'm already in that 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 bridge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when I when I hear you say that that like like cries out to me. Cause I'm like, yeah, it does. Because it's As like, yeah, because it's like, you you really you really get a true understanding of who you are as a man and your purpose with your kids, and you see how naked you are and vulnerable you are to men. Because you're getting your advice from women, and women are not men. Men have to teach the girls what men are like, because men are in control of this environment, flat out. So you're. Comp- you're not even competing. You're 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 living within the realm of men. But I have to learn about men by being in this career five years plus. I learned a lot about differences. 
Everybody's not the same. Even though I didn't have that upbringing with my dad, I have to literally learn men differently. Yeah, but the question in now. But the question with you, though, Shire, is like, you definitely embrace your femininity, but you understand because you're surviving, you're still out here with us. And we're yeah. vicious. And I'm vicious. My point exactly. I'm vicious as fuck. So how are you going to shut that shit off because I know within how to a marriage? Be, I know how to be a woman when I'm comfortable, and I know that's my man. And I know he's protecting me being vicious, and that gives me an opportunity You, you know, I can be a woman, I can bathe in my femininity. Like, I can just be like. Yeah, but you got to shut that off, though. That's what I'm saying. That's me shutting that off. So, Being fully me. So, somebody's like, oh got to conquer that in you? No, somebody has to be that for me. Somebody, that man has to be vicious. Whatever man is going to be. More vicious than you? No, I mean, you don't have to necessarily be more vicious than me. It's just if he's vicious enough for me, I can calm my shit down because now I have a man. But how do you quantify that? Like, how do you, how do you say? I know how to do that. I did it with my baby daddy for six years. But I know how to do that. Though. I still know how to speak up for myself, but that doesn't yeah, mean. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking about, I mean, what? we're talking about in a relationship wise. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm not yeah, saying, we know you're going to speak up. He like, we got that. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, how, you, when you taste blood, and I'm, and I'm speaking to like but I, speaking I can from speak a to you. Man's yeah, but you can understand that. That's I what I'm can saying. Understand that, but I'm telling you from a female's perspective, I still have a feminine woman side. You of don't course. have that. Right. So when you're speaking to me on the vicious side, I can relate to that, but you gotta remember I still have this side. Of course. So when I tap into this side and I don't have to be this, that's letting my guard down for my man to be this. So and I'm, and I'm saying, you how do you I mean? how do you quantify that side? Like, how do you like know you know what I mean? Like, like person. what's kind of yeah, 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 yeah. That person. I have to do enough research for myself, studying on him, to be like, that's that. But you have to submit I to that. I do, I will. Like, I already I, told you. I, I know that, but I'm saying, that. but but that's not a you're problem. not a submitting kind of person. You don't know that about me. You finding out shit you ain't never knew. You just right. So you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I know that's right, 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 right. Because I show people what I want them to see. Mysterious. Right. Let's go back to being mysterious. That's why niggas get mad because I'm mysterious. And they be like, oh. I would say that's manipulative. No, it's not. It's giving people what they deserve. If you, like a magician? If you give if you get He's that manipulating out of me, you. If you get that out of me, you deserve it. Right, right. now, I'm here for you. Right. That's I right. came out here for you. That's right. You getting this out of me, you right. deserve it. That's not manipulative. I'm giving you what you deserve. Yeah. We in the club, do we have time to talk like this? No. Exactly. Do we ever kick it and go out to eat? No. Exactly. Right. So now you're finding out things that it's not, it's just me being mysterious as in me being personal to what I'm doing and getting my bag and not yelling to the world, hey, this is what I do. This is what, like, I don't need to do that. I let my work speak for itself. That's right. You feel me? Then you gonna know and be like, I've been knowing her for seven years, and I didn't know she yeah, was going to be on a BZ award. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the type of shit I like. Right. But I, I would never change who I am. I'm going to still see you and be like, you saw me? You right. proud of me? I miss you. And you yeah. Know, like, you know? That's right, right, me. right. No, I understand. I don't think that's manipulative. I think that's just me being me. I have to be like that in order to get my blessings. Because I learned my lesson about telling too many people shit. And the blessings don't even fucking fall for it. Right. Well, I'm not necessarily speaking of, of a genuine quality because yeah. if it's genuine, then it's not manipulation. Oh, yeah, it's genuine. But in the sense of. Let me get a shot. Shot, shot. Man, you see I'm what sorry, I don't want to catch you out. Let me no, get no, a shot. no. Okay, look. There's the water. <laughs> Let me go get a cup. <laughs> Commercial, yeah, is it on? Is it on? Hey, it's right? Right. Yeah. No, it's not German. It's, it's Araki Da. Yeah, this is the water, right? Okay, so look. Oh, I thought that was ginger ale. You, did you ever see Indiana, Indiana Jones? Okay. I thought that was no, 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 no. This is this is sparkling water. I hate sparkling water. They be giving that on the you, plane. You, you can't drink this on the plane. 
I got a little juice in here. I'll be Don't put no juice in there, man. I'm telling you. Oh, really? Smell it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Woo! Baby! Shit. <laughs> She's about to grow up today. You're about to give me some hair on my chest now because I'm so alpha. <laughs> Since she's so alpha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Since she's so boss. Since I'm so boss. Fuck. You're going to get some hair off the motherfucking chest right now. Get a little bit. So we'll do it just a little bit. And it is 100. Ooh, that is more than a shot. Yeah. You're talking about poor little. You telling me I'm poor no, little? <laughs> no, that's not more than a shot. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, he making me a drink. Yeah. Okay. Did you drink one? Okay. Because uh, I had like four of them in there. Oh, okay. For the waters. Because oh. I'm, girl, you know. I was like, what? You bold if you trying to shop this shit straight. <laughs> <laughs> you bold trying to drink it straight. <laughs> I'm like, man. Mm. <laughs> I like it. It tastes like um a popsicle. I've had before. <laughs> a popsicle. Don't do that, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what? I can when I you gotta zoom in on this shit. The next when you edit this, <laughs> I've had a popsicle. And it tastes like a popsicle. A popsicle. No, a real popsicle. Like what kind not of cold or anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm. you know what kind of popsicle oh. are you talking about? A popsicle. It was like some what is that? Gelato popsicle? Well the the water like the water's key popsicle. line, that, that French key Maybe line. Maybe that did it. You Maybe that I mean? mixed it it. Mixed it it. <laughs> <laughs> mixed it it. <laughs> Mixed it in. You're so crazy. Cheers to us. Cheers to y'all. I'm having a good time. Even yeah. The I'm having fun, y'all. So, like, with a little bit of history, yeah, there was a, a fight at Playhouse that kind of broke out. Miss oh, Boss Lady. No. Miss no. Boss Lady was all in the <laughs> middle of the shit. And so, <laughs> so I, I had seen the whole ordeal that went down. You know what I mean? And and the girl did kind of like you know it instigated against her you know what I mean but but she didn't know we, we didn't really know who we were you know this was business capacity. Why are you coming into my side? Why are you doing? So I'm like I tell her I say I say so I'm like look come here. And she she looks at me and she sees you I'm with the suit so I'm, you know you automatically know I'm security. Huh. So she's like oh hell no you're not gonna kick me out nigga whoop 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 I'm like look 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 calm down. I was like, I saw what happened. I'm just trying to pull you away from the environment. We'll get the madness out, you know what I mean? Because I knew where we were. You know, we're always prone to getting in trouble more than anybody else. So I was like, you know. Took her outside. She calmed down for a minute. She just swore I was going to kick her out, walk her out the gate. She calmed down for a minute, went back. And then from that point on, that's been my dog ever since. And I don't think there's ever... I don't think there's any been like nothing other than nothing that she's really caused since then. Shit around her, you know what I'm I mean? Never you know what I mean? Shit around her, like shit be happening, niggas fighting, whatever around her or whatever. But nothing that she's ever been a part of since then. Y'all wanna hear the real story? From my perspective, that is the real story. <laughs> Water, tell us for You know, I came out for the promoter of that infection, and I was with my sister. So, one thing about me, baby, I don't think twice. I think once. Once you do something and you cross me, it's a wrap. That's all I needed to be. For my sister, she's a Gemini. So, when she sees something, it has to register first. It takes a while for her. For me, it's on site. It takes a while. So, it was two drunk girls at that 
<laughs> if I'm hosting or if we're there for someone else, right? So, basically, these girls were too drunk, and it was already early in the night. It wasn't even that late yet. So, they, one of the girls went wild on my sister, and she touched her. If you touch somebody that I'm close to, or if you touch me, you ask me for it. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm never going to touch anybody else first. I'm never going to disrespect their space. You don't touch energy. first? No, I don't. And I've been doing that shit since middle school. <laughs> my mama told me, if they touch you first, yeah, no you touch you first. they ass. <laughs> so, you know, my sister, she has to think about things first. Like, she touched her, she thought about it. Me, I'm on the couch. Her, she don't like to be like me. I'm extra, she's calm. So, I'm on the couch, turning up, having a good time. She's on the floor. That's how she likes it. Right, she right. don't like being on the couch being right. with me. Up here right, on right, the right. stage. She right, don't right, like right. That, right. So but I'm you know, you're couch. usually up there by yourself most of the time. Yeah, because right. I like to be that girl. You yeah. gonna see me, baby. <laughs> so when I'm on the couch, I'm watching this go down. I'm watching everything happen. So when the girls touched her, her other friend touched her. I jumped from the couch onto one of the girls. That's how that happened. <laughs> That's how that happened. And then the promoter was like, no. Oh my God. Once you get that out of me, baby, I will break character of who I am and you got the hood in me now. That makes sense because when I Sorry. came around the corner, it was like the the engagement was going on over here. Like yeah. you said, it was another another incident. Yeah. And I came around the corner and you were on the side. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense because there was a lot of scuttlebutt about of you after course. that. It should have been. Like, like, no. I don't want to be booking her, nigga. Like, she be fighting this shit. She be doing this and this and that. And I was like, nah, she's straight like every time. No, that nigga, that nigga be doing shit. Dude, dude, dude. And I'm such it a was some serious girl. scuttlebutt I'm about that though. I'm such a feminist. I'm such a girly girl. Feminist. When I walk in, I'm walking <laughs> in like this with my hand up, doing a shower, walking in. And I'm just like, you know, cute. But if you try me, you're going to get the fucking hood. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. All that shit goes out the window. And now you fucking with my family. You fuck with my family or one of my close friends or it's the ride. You know, out of character. And you did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. So I'm sorry. I don't like being that person though. I'm not proud of that. But what you mean you're not proud of that? I mean, I'm not proud of that. I don't like being that person. Would you say but would you say that that comes from the character of you doing everything on your own and being no, on your own? No, that comes from my family. Yeah. I got good ass things in my family. So everybody my just uncles, ride I like that. Uncles, and I have a dad that's the OG. Like, so everybody they don't just... play. So that's what I've seen growing up. That doesn't mean that that has to be in me, but it is in blood. Like, it is in me. Right. So, yeah, I don't play that shit. So how you gonna suppress all that? You keep asking me this. Because I'm just curious about all that. All this is gonna be suppressed with my man. Because he's gonna be the alpha male. I don't gotta be no alpha man. I'm listening to daddy. You got me. I trust you. That's how that clicks. Men can't shut that shit off, though. But if I trust you, you can shut it off. I well, I mean, that's, that's, why I, that's why I say it's fascinating coming from your perspective as a female. You. Yeah, because you're a female. But like I said, men can't shut that shit off. I what you're speaking of, you. we have to be that continually. Of course. Right. Yeah, you do. So that's why I say. You do. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm going to be honest with you. You're respectful. It becomes insatiable. Because you see what it you see that what it can wield and what it can do. Yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Turn that on if my man needs to do that when it's time for it. I don't need him to be on ten, twenty four seven. He he's gonna be a man within him himself and who he is. But if it's go time, I know my nigga's gonna handle it and I can sit back and let him handle it. I don't need to be that person. Right. Because my man is I trust him, he's gonna make sure I'm good. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. No, seriously, because that's what you're saying. Right. That's what I need. I need my man to be like, sit down with me. Like, it's okay, let's, you know. So he don't have to, like, pull out the blicky to show you that. And I'm like, like, no, nigga, what? I'm not no Do you feel comfortable? I'm not no good ass <laughs> bitch. Can Maybe you pass like, the title to me? <laughs> my nigga got to pull out the blicky like, no. Like, I ain't got to do the dishes tonight, no. do I? I, I told that nigga man. back up. No, I want my man to be like calm about situations and calm the situation down. And then if he gotta get pull out the blicky, okay, cool. If that calls for it, cool. But I don't want you to be the nigga that wanna pull out the blicky first before the next day. Then you go get a shower. 
That that's interesting yeah, because I can't live my life because I'm gonna get shot. This that's like, interesting because it's no. like yeah, it's like if I can understand this correctly, you're you're saying you literally just want to be able to submit to the whole piece of it, just to yeah. take care of it. Yes. That's it. And just feel safe with my man. When I go out, I know he's not gonna start no shit with no random nigga looking at me because I'm a lot. Not to be conceited or nothing, but when I go out, niggas be grabbing for me. Yeah. Niggas be in my face. You, you telling me? So you yeah. <laughs> So, so if that becomes problematic for the situ- for for the relationship, let's just say one compromises. Just for the for the for the for conversation, we're in this relationship. I compromise, but every time we go out, it's always the same, you know. And these altercations can can get hectic because if I have to keep somebody off of you, that means I might have to physically remove them. And then if I'm doing this in Houston or I'm doing this in Miami. Now I'm doing no, this don't like that when I travel. But it's I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, because oh, yeah, because we're in, we're in this relationship. No, so I would assume that if, if if I am gonna be your 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 man in this situation, I'm gonna be there. Right. Right. So assuming that, if this becomes problematic for the situation or for the relationship, this can put me in a potential danger of constantly getting fucked up every time we go out. No, that's not true. Because if you're the type of man. He has to know shit. You have, yeah, you gotta be that type of nigga. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, you gotta, you have to pay attention to what's going on. All right, let me get her out in the back. Let me walk through the back way. And get her out the blood so we don't gotta go through that shit walking through a crowd to get right, 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 right. You have to be that type of nigga. You right. have to have that mental right. to think. So you don't have to be in those type of situations. Some niggas can't, can't be that. So you can't fuck with me. Because I'm already doing that with my friends. So if you can't do that with me as my man, then you're asking for it. Then a nigga is going to fight you because you walk into the crowd because you chose to go that path instead of taking me out the back because you know niggas was going to be on to me. You know yeah, what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, so do so you it's know? like you put yourself out there. Yeah. Like, how are you mentally for me? What type of man are you? But you don't have to be in those situations. That's pretty interesting. That's where I'm at with it. And so, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So you think that's how you think you're gonna find a person like that? It's not up to me, it's up to God. I don't have to find you. You believe God's gonna send you a person like that? He's gonna find me. He's gonna find you? That's just how I don't How do you what do you base that on? I don't look at love like, oh my god, I gotta put myself out there, I gotta do this, I gotta do well, that. Well no, you don't have to do that. No, that's how I But you do have to choose. But you I do have to choose though. Of course. He can't choose you. Right, right. To find you're me. saying you're not deciding. I'm just living my life. You're not, so, so you're meet, not deciding. Yeah, I'm you. not deciding. When we meet and I feel that connection, and I'll be like, okay, we're showing the traits of that person. Then it's like, okay, if it's if that's what's supposed to happen, that's supposed to happen. That's not up to me. That's up to God. Seriously, it is. 
But you still have to put yourself in a position to be that type of person. No, I am. But I'm just saying, when that person comes to me, I'm not looking for them. I'm not. That's why I'm single now. I'm just minding my business, getting my bag, creating my business, doing what I need to do first. So when I, when that man do come, I got something to bring to the table too. Period. But I mean, yeah. But what what you're gonna offer and bring to the table, I don't think it's gonna be financial. That's why, that's why, I mean, when you say, when, be, but, no, but like when you I say he should to. take care of the household yeah. and he should take care of the household bills and things like that, I believe you're absolutely correct in that sense and you should be able, whatever money you make, should fund whatever you're going to do. I, exactly. I, I understand that. And I'm coming home and I'm being the mom, I'm being the mother, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. I have an OCD problem. My house is clean 24-7, first of all. So, I mean, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, and I'm going to do what I need to do. As a you're mother. not on Adderall or nothing like that, are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you smoke all that weed? Yeah. I'm a real smoker, baby. I believe it. A real smoker. Yeah. Yeah, she used to smoke a lot of weed. Mm-hmm. All the time. Rasta. Yeah. <laughs> Rasta. <laughs> nah, but for real. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, back to what we were saying, you know, it, it just, like I said, it strikes me a lot of the traits that you have that you, you're using to move into your career and doing what you're doing are traits that are male traits, but you seem so adapted to those traits that you seem to you seem to long for those traits and want those traits. So it's going to be hard, huh? Long and one with it. Like long, like like you you seem to like I don't want to say crave the hunt, but that ambition of power that men have, crave I see a lot. Of not independence. Well, That's men, men, men don't make independence for the sake of, of being self-reliant. But that's what women do. I'm right. That's what women do. So that's what I'm doing. Right. But you have to do that within the parameters of our construct. Of course. Right. Because I don't have a man. Right. Because but but I'm a single mother. But if I can't be in a game, y'all gonna eat me alive. Why would not be in a game like that? So how do you shut that off? That's that's my question. Because as a man is like I'm comfortable. I shut it off when I'm comfortable and when I'm feeling like, oh, he, he's in that. He came out of that. And I was in it too. So now that we're here and I I got him out the You mean like 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 in the same environment? Like we both said being in that. Yeah, but our burden of but, performance is, is the way it is. Okay, but that's a man. I'm a woman. Right. So with that being said, when I pull that type of man out of the the motion <laughs> and we're here together, <laughs> then I could be like, ooh, okay, literally. <laughs> Daddy already on that shit, and I already saw him being in that. And I was in that. And now I can relax because I'm comfortable. That's how I should have. I have my fucking man. Period. Then I don't have to be that. Then he don't have to compete with me because I already shut it off. It ain't in our home. And that does. It's when I'm outside. And, when and I'm you, not with daddy. I have to shut it back on when I'm outside back in the fucking shit with my career because I'm in the industry. Right. It's a doggy dog world in the industry. Right. So I have to be that beast when I'm not with daddy. But we're not at home. You feel me? Right, right, right. right. Well said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, we get in deep. We get in No, because that's, yeah. that's very serious, especially with what's going on and what everybody's talking about with boss women and masculine men and, 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 and demasculating the man and, and women being, you know, on top of things and doing things. It's very, it's, it's very important as a man as he's going as, as to excel and, and move as himself. See, with, with men, it has nothing to do with her. So, like, me improving myself has nothing to do with her certain ideas. All the stuff that she's doing is for her. Like, she, 
Like she stated in note. You could have found me. You know what I'm saying? And 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 not too many women in that sense. There's only but a handful of women that I've ever met in my life that have ever said I'm going to work for the family. Most of them work for themselves. So even in that is a rarity of what she just spoke. Most of the women are out here doing this for themselves. Hands down. Hands down. It ain't got nothing to do. They ain't even thinking for their kids. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, it fascinates me to ask these questions about how you going to shut this 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 masculine type of uh, behavior on and off because it is insatiable. For us, it's a conquering situation. It's being on top of things. It's making sure things are in control to our word, where what the fuck I say goes. When I say left, you go left. When I say right, you go right. I've always found it fascinating with her being the way she is and her things that when we go to the club and I'm working, if I say, yo, come over here, she's not going to question it. She'll come over here. And that's always got me, that those type of things have always got me, especially when you're in an environment with men and you understand what that means. Yeah. You understand what I'm I saying? Because not too many girls will say, okay, I'll go. They want to do their own Most thing. of them will be like, well, what yeah. you talking about? Yeah, right? You're right, right. What's going on over here? That part. That's not me. That if part. he's telling me to move, I'm going to move because he's keeping me safe because I trust him. And that's what I need in my man. I want to trust him. So you telling me what to do and we out in public, okay, daddy, I'm going to move. Because you know what? You're saving me. You could have saved me from a bullet. You could have saved me from a bitch coming talk. at night. I don't see it. But you told me to move. And Real I'm talk. looking at you in your eyes and you say move. I'm going to fucking move. Real talk. Period. And most, most, I, I promise you, 90 to 95% of the females are not like that. Yeah. That's, that's why we're having this whole conversation. Because see, see, so she didn't check out the channel prior to this. I do. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure she'll probably no, look after this. Oh my God, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Most of the things that I do, everything that I do is pretty much based on the elevation of us, black men. Yeah. Trying to help us be better than who we are. And really, as black men, our elevation has nothing to do with black women. But following the orders and, 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 and authorities having jurisdiction that are not of our, our culture and our heritage or our, our lineage or our spirituality has forced us to turn against against our, our women and against other people in our communities because we don't know no better. This is all we've been raised and, and, and brought up and think. So this is where we challenge that. I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. To get a better understanding well, of, course. of a woman. Well, of course. Some yeah. men don't, and I respect you for that, some men don't take well, if, 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 if a man is not concerned about your education and a man is not concerned about your money because he already figures you're not going to get education for you and your money's going to be for you anyway, right? So this is what he's figuring. I have to be the one that provides. I have to be the one that performs. I have to be the one to take care of the house, right? How are you the one that's making me feel this way? But who take care of the kids? You never said nothing about the kids. Well, the woman does. After, after you nourish the kids? So... That's her job. Well, well, after you nourish the kids, when they get to about the age of your daughter, which is 10 or 11, this is why I said about the male traits, they're going to start seeking how to survive in the one who's running the construct. They're going to have to. But he's running. That's the point. She's running, she's running it as in being and, a woman, the femininity part, and he's running it as in being the masculine. Right. So, yeah. But you, you know, have to take do. on the burden of teaching that to your daughter as a woman when you're not a man. I'm already doing that's that something now. that I don't have a choice. No, but that's my point that's though. That's just me being a good mom because why stay in my femininity and not tap into that when I know I grew up even though I didn't grow up with my dad, I did have a stepdad to teach me things. So it's like she has her dad though. Yeah. She still has her dad. This nigga's not going anymore. He's still there and I still make sure he's in her life because I didn't grow up with my dad. Right. He gave me money, but he wasn't there. Right. And he didn't give a fuck about being there, even when he had the chance to be there. Right. For her, Fantastic. her dad wants to be there. Right. He don't have the money and the finances, but guess what? The fact that I see that he loves her and he want to be there is enough for me. Well, you, that means That's that means. That's why he ain't on child support. Right. Because but, it's like, I respect that as you being a man and you really want to be in your kid's life. Right. Because I don't want her holding that against me when she get older and be like, my dad loved me. He just wanted to be there. You, he didn't give you no money. But this, you, do you not understand how rare 
That is. <laughs> Nigga. For real. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <it's> stupid. <laughs> But, but that's my point. That is that is not common at all under any circumstance. Yeah. Under any circumstance. Seriously. Seriously. So but but that's but that's my whole point. So it's like as 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 women that understand that, as you understand that as a woman, that's why I asked you about your purpose and you being twenty nine. So after a while, you understand 29, 30, 35, you're gonna go into a, a, a period of geriatric pregnancy where it's gonna be hard for you to have kids, right? So then you're gonna hit a point where there's 35 and then it's gonna be like, what's left? So having said that, understanding who you are as a woman. Yeah. Right! <laughs> That's what I mean by your purpose and preparation into that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you bet not. Oh, you made me want to cry. See, that. <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm not gonna cry. You bet not. I'm real nigga. Real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a real nigga. No. If it was just us talking, I probably would cry. But yeah, no, seriously. I love that you get it. See, so that's what I'm saying. You get it. So. I love that. A lot of men can't do that. And, 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 and. Your age, doing what you're doing, yeah. at the levels that you are, with the tensions that you're getting. You know what I'm saying? I see that. I'm gonna tell you the connection of that. The connection is that is that when you come around me, I keep it safe. Mm-hmm. So now I'm thinking like, damn, if I'm doing this, I'm getting paid to do this shit. Okay. So now this is a motherfucker really supposed to be in love with her, and he gonna go through the same shit. That's not me. Are you gonna be? That's Enough to where you're gonna have you strizzle, the weapons, the, the training, the da 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 da. And he gonna check a nigga. He got know you you gotta go through him. You gotta go through my uncle. So, you gotta go through my daddy. So not to frighten y'all out there, but these are men that are that I respect in my life, real men. So it's like um, I I, yeah. I asked. That's no. why I asked that question. It could get intimidating for a man. It's not gonna be up to him. It's, it's not gonna be the, the, the environment of, of what we said. It's gonna be what you choose. But y'all don't. Cause see, y'all okay. Gonna be the ones to be like. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right decision or not? No, no. Nah. Yeah, but, but but see, you you mentioned you mentioned the Bible, right? You have to draw water for the person and then draw water for Steve. So you choose. But if they don't you see water, that. If you feel the nigga, the nigga horse should start, that's on him. That's what I'm saying. So you ain't my husband. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So the burden, the burden of proof. Bring no purpose to me now. It don't matter how many suitors line up. It's what you choose. You're right. Right. I respect that. You're right. So. That's why I said, how are you gonna shut that off to allow that to happen? I know all these Especially if you know niggas, if you know niggas is grabbing on you. But guess you know what? niggas is looking at you the way they're looking at you. Mm-hmm. I have all these options in my life. I've been having options since I was 16. So Give me that chocolate girl. So Give me. I know <laughs> how to differentiate what nigga is what. So with that being said, I know how to get through that and be So we're gonna hang How you gonna choose a motherfucker to, 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 to set him up? We're gonna hang it up. Come on in, and homie. I'm still giving you an opportunity. You're tangled up in the line. I'm still giving you an opportunity. You can grab the rope and be like, girl, what's this? You wanna get freaky? Or you can grab the rope and tie it around your neck and hang yourself. Do you? <laughs> it depends on who you are. So right now, Cause he thinks she gonna choke his motherfucking ass he out. Don't <laughs> he don't know that respect. Cause he's, he's like, the, cause you know, cause the scorpion, the scorpion really doesn't have good eyes. Can't really see. Even though it has like eight or something. He just talking about a whole that. lot of eyes. He ain't talking about 
when you pull a scorpion off the rock, it just, it, it loops up like this, like this. And then that's it. And, and whatever gets close to it, snatches the stabs. And... You will get stabbed. <laughs> so, when you look at it in that sense, how are you going to choose this? <laughs> Yeah. What was it? It's up to them. It's not a they, were they the scorpion and the is the scorpion and the, and the, and the eagle, or is it the there's, there's a the scorpion and the eagle, and then I think it's a frog. No, the monkey and the um, damn so that king about, frog. He don't know about All these other little these, there, there's these other little sayings about, about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Okay, the astrology that I know of comes from the Sefer Hamlet. Right? And this is about what Raziel was talking about, the angel Raziel was talking about, was that during these times of the month, the constellations, man was to till the fields of the earth. So you created the image of God. So you would call the angels, and the angels were to till the fields, the wind, the rain, all these things were to bring life upon the earth. So each sign. Right, each sign had a designated time to call specific angels to till the earth. That was man's job because man was stored upon the earth. So that's how I know astrology to be. But now astrology has turned but into the characteristics. The because the woman gives birth, we give life. Okay. So you can't just have a man within that. Now, hold on. Now, now you take creation. You ain't never said that. Right. Okay, so now you take creation. Man was created, he already had named everything. See, it makes sense when women want men that's already created, that want that are already established. So when Eve was created, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe you were generous. Maybe you were generous. I mean, you got enough for TV right there. Yeah, maybe you were generous. All right, but look. So look, look. You don't have to take a bathroom break. So look, look, look. So Adam. You know, I mean, uh, uh, this, the, 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 establish, the, the establishment of Adam was already done. He already named the animals. He already named the creatures, right? Then, as it's written, God said, you know what? It's not good for you to be alone. Then Eve came. So when Eve was created, she was created for one specific purpose. So how was Adam created? That was for when Adam. Adam. Woman. Huh? How was Adam created? Adam was created from the dust of the earth by the, carved by the finger of a father. Do you believe that? That's what it says. Do you believe that? Yes. Do we don't have another story. Do you believe a man is creating without a woman? Yes. In this lifetime, you see because I, wait, 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 wait. men and babies e are created without a woman, right? Eve didn't pass through a woman. Eve didn't pass through a woman. He, he listening to the story. I'm just wait, wait, wait. But according to that story, did Eve come through the legs of a woman? They say she came through his ribs. So she didn't come through the legs of a woman. But do we know that's real? So do you? So then, how do we get here then? Do we know that that's real? Though? But but this is Who's what I'm saying. Who's telling the story? What? That's, Who's telling the story? I, when you question, time. hold on, hold on. When you question things to that extent, mm. that's Who's where your story? faith of what you're going to believe is. There's all kind of faiths of how this happens. Yeah, my faith is in God, but it's so, still in the story you created this. So, so this is what I'm saying, though. That. Right, that's true. But Eve didn't pass through the legs of a woman, neither did Adam. Did so that neither that one of them came, came through a woman, came how we got here. It doesn't make sense when you say what came first, the chicken or the egg. It don't make sense, y'all. So, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, so, so, riddle, riddle that question. Riddle that question. What came first, the chicken or the egg? You can't. The chicken can't have an egg. The egg can't live without the chicken. Right. So, what came first? One had to be created. What had to be? I mean, think about it. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and pause it, bro, and then put the the, the, uh, the charger on it because I know it's like he, he's like on, seventeen. Right? So so part of this, he grew up crazy like around me like at a time when he was a baby. I used to keep like a stash of guns in the corner, and then he in his crib was right here. So his he would jump out to me on the crib, but it'd be rifles. And Fucking shotguns, shit on him. Body armor in the corner. Yeah, because I was like doing, a, I was doing, back then I was doing a lot of like bounty hunting and 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 working with bodyguards and going out of state and going in the desert. I was I was busy because I was funding, you know, little man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was funding him up. So he doesn't he doesn't really know 
any other thing like, and then after that, I, went to, I worked at this uh, bar in Pasadena. And he was like six or seven, like five or six, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I used to take him in the bar and he used to always, in the bar? yeah, he used to have hair like past his ass. Oh He's God. always had long hair. Huh? So his hair was always like past his ass, bro. Yeah. So the girls were, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. they want to braid his hair. And they used to give him cookies and shit. And so he was just sitting there like, oh, he was loving it. Bro, at, at five and six, bro, he was loving it. So then that's, that changed. You know what I mean? He got older. He got old school. Now I can't take you with me. You know what I mean? So this side, I lie. He has no nothing about. So I'm like, you know, he, he's still, he's still what, 17? You know what I mean? So he's not at that 21 age yet. But by the time he gets there and I do take him to a club to see him, he's it's gonna be culture shock. <laughs> I'm telling you because when when I, I, I like my class is 91, right? So much, I mean dead ass, so much has changed in the school system. Oh, nice. The sure. kids are not the same at all. Mm -hmm. So the shit that we went through as kids. Bruh, they, they have no clue. Mm. Do you understand? I mean, erased. It's different. Erased. I agree. With charter system and and, and 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 this, you know, everybody's loving the children, you know, and 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 and, and therapy dogs and and all this other bullshit. You know what I mean? And timeouts and all that. So he that's he went to a school like that. Okay. He went to a school. That was a, a, a charter system school. Oh, I was gonna ask that. Was yeah. It charter, not but it, but it, but it, edu he, he's smart. Sure. So I get him about the education part. Yeah, he's smart. But the problem is, is that when it comes to out here, out here now has somehow been shielded from the common person. Mm -hmm. They got to cross a barrier to come out here. Well, before as we was kids, we grew up out here. You know what I'm saying? So, so the bullshit, you know, the the pickle pig feet and shit, and the and the and the and the, and the, and the pickles and the and the, and the fucking, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the nine laters and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? The the chili Fritos where they cut the bag open and pour the chili on top of the Fritos. Yeah, we used to do that. Okay, that shit, that shit is gone. Pasty. It was pickles and Kool-Aid. Nigga, no, pickles and Kool-Aid, but no, there was pickle at look at the liquor store we had. They had pickle pig feet. Niggas was buying pickle pig feet and pickles in Pasadena. I put that on everything. Because every time we went there, we was like, eh! In LA, it's pickles and Kool Aid. That's still gross. Red, blue, whatever. Kool That's still and gross. And, Kool and then you got to do the 40s and shit with the cherry Kool Aid in the 40s and, and the Thunderbird and the Night Train. And, and hot Cheetos and chili. Oh, yeah. Hot Cheetos. They don't do that now. Where you gonna find that at now? It's still ice cream truck. It's still ice cream truck out here. Where? In the hood. Where? <laughs> you know ice cream truck in the damn hood, niggas. In the hood, no, for real. That's where they are. They not in the, they not in North Hollywood. I don't ever see no damn ice cream truck. They don't got no ice cream, like, like, where I'm at. I'm talking about Crenshaw. Where I'm at, there's no more ice cream trucks. There's just like, like mail trucks with motherfuckers selling goods and shit. Bananas and chips. Oh, you talking about the food Yeah, it's like South American it's shit. It's a food truck too, y'all. Or Central like, American food. It's a food truck and it's an ice cream truck. It's they a different. ice cream truck, bro. It's a difference. It's ice cream truck. Kids ain't running around asking for ice cream. It's not as common as it used to be. But it's a couple of niggas. Yeah. It's a couple of niggas that ain't got no ice cream. Because I didn't see it. I was like, I was shocked. Look, see. I was like, see? I didn't see what he said. See, so. I was shocked. Think about when the last time, well. Yeah. Depending on who's watching this, think about when the last time you saw an ice cream truck in your neighborhood. Mine was like a year ago. And I, was like, and I grew up with the ice cream truck. Not in my neighborhood, my mom's house. Like, we would have like money set to the every side. Every time. For they the ice cream. They stopped by every day. Just for the ice cream truck. Remember that? Yes. They stopped by yep. every day, y'all. Yeah, money set to the side. Like, like little jars and shit. And then we Fresh would just for the ice cream truck. Get your hand in the jar and run out to the ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. Buy you whatever you was going to get, man. Play football in the street and go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was little, I used to want to own an ice cream truck. Why is that? <laughs> 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 what was you trying to sell the kids, man? <laughs> ice cream and goodies, but 
Everyone loves ice cream. In the ice cream truck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. I'm on my track. Yo, I, her ice cream. There would be no children at her ice cream truck. No, I don't <laughs> We don't be selling to the kids, but at night. There'd be no children. We would have fun before we clean up the truck. None. As adults. Yeah, it'd be 21 and over at the ice cream truck. Right. The fuck? I don't know. I always wanted an ice cream truck. <laughs> All right, we're not about to do that. Okay, That's horrible. My bad, y'all. That's horrible. That's why we still rolling, because she was just and, and you know what? Okay, okay. You remember uh, Candyman at Playhouse? You don't remember that little kid that used to sell candy at Playhouse? This nigga bought him a pair of twelve hundred dollar Yeezys and everything. I'm not bull. I am not. This little kid used to go. He he would go to um, CVS and buy the candy at CVS. Come down to Playhouse and sit at the gate. And wow. sell the candy at like 500%. Dead I've ass. never seen him before. I remember a young dog, young dog, came to the club, walked down the alley, Candyman was sitting right there, and this little kid, we, was, yeah. we used to always call, I used to call him Candyman, I don't remember his name. But he was like, he's like, yo, young, you know, young dog, I mean, why don't you buy some candy from me? I mean, I can see you can afford it. And this, no shit, this is before he got capped at, a, at, at the shoe Rest place. Rest young dog, I knew him personally. Yeah. This is before he got capped at the shoe place over at uh, Highland. That that weekend, because he came to Playhouse that weekend. This nigga had racks hanging out of his fucking pocket and everything that weekend. He fucking bought this nigga all of his candy out. Aww. Gave him a stack and That's bought his whole he, candy out. Yeah, and then it, I mean, he, he was cool. He was always straight. Yeah. Like, he never was mean, never was disrespectful. Never. Neither was Gucci he Man. Was quiet. Yeah, they were, those were like artists that, that like, yeah. They were artists that you dealt with that were just like, I'm just coming out to hang out. That's yeah, it. You, be like, you, know, bro, you know what I mean? But he would, but you know, young dog would do it big, man. Yeah. So he would come out with money. He would never say much, but motherfucker had money coming out of his pockets and every damn thing else. That shit was hilarious. He was, he was one of those artists that, that make us nervous, that make me nervous. Why? Because it's like niggas be, niggas be scoping, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. Being what I do, you That's you would not know about how many shootouts and stuff I've been in over shit like that. You're right. And that doesn't necessarily mean he did something. But this nigga's harder than him that, like, he he's not really confrontational, so it's like niggas harder that you should be scared being in the same room with. Well, More than Young Dolph. Well, no, I don't mean like like scared as like I'm scared of Young Dolph. It's just no, of what? What's of, yeah, of, of the environment around him. But before that, yeah. he's a calm nigga. I wouldn't be Yeah, he was him. always straight. Like, I did a video shoot with him and Snoop. I was so calm. Like, I like I wouldn't... He doesn't exude that energy of, oh, some niggas gonna run up in here and shoot me. Right. I've been around niggas like that. I have yeah, no, he's like, real, he's he real, like, like... I don't want to be outside with you. I don't want to go Yeah, he's real shoot. nonchalant he's about shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. He doesn't give that Yeah, energy. no, no. So it was shocking for me to hear that. that she yeah, no, no. It was just that everybody was looking. That's what makes me... Of that's you my thing. I, like, like, like with you. I don't watch you. I watch everybody watching you. No, for real. <laughs> <laughs> if I just watch you, I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. If I keep my eyes on you. Bro. Yeah, but, but if, if I just I keep my eyes on you, too. yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll miss the whole program. They'll come snatch okay. you. But I, I can't watch you. I gotta watch all the attention you bring. So I gotta look all around at everybody else. So like when I see him walk out. I love you. And I'm like, this nigga got this in his pocket, this in his pocket. So I started looking at the oh, crowd. Yeah, yeah, and everybody's like, target, everybody's just like, oh, look at this nigga. Right. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Because once you know a nigga is walking around, no matter if he's popular or not, if a nigga is walking around with money hanging out their pockets, you kind of ask him for it. You don't got to flex like that. If you want to flex worse than tight ass pants, and put them racks. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, no, he he would have them. They, they would, like, they were like palm trees coming out of his pockets. Okay, so, so why it's would like, you want that? Why would you want he, he that to blossom like that? Where you're in a club full of people bumping into you, he, walking through people. I tell you this, Mayweather didn't do that. 
You had hella celebrities at that club. Yeah, if they were, they didn't Every do time that. I was there, Amber Rose, <laughs> yeah. all these people, like, you would be like, come to the stage. I'd be like, okay, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was all them celebrities. Come yeah. back, come back, the real club. Yeah. They ain't gonna start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the real club. Yep. Didn't do that. Nobody did that. Nobody did that. So why are you Best. doing that? Well, like, when we. That makes we get there, the environment would be cool because the environment's secure. But once I, once I can see the client is secure, then it's it's now I'm looking at the environment. Right. Because if you're if you're hunting, you're gonna hunt when they're coming. Oh, yeah, no. You're not gonna hunt when everybody's if, mm-hmm. who's in the bushes. You're, hunting, you're gonna hunt when they're gonna be like, uh, you know, I'm chilling now. Now niggas is gonna be like, okay, that nigga, you know, he done got lit, he done had a few shots, he's talking to this broad. Now you're gonna get all the people. Now you're gonna get the people off. And it's the same with the females and males. Yeah. Yeah. So you you you're not necessarily watching the client himself, but what's going on around him. You know what I mean? So you can't you can't be effective if I just keep my focus on you. Right. Because then, like I said, that's gonna get you. So when I look at these niggas, you know, like when they would do that stuff. They would get calm. Now I can secure the environment because now, okay, what you looking at? What you looking at? Now I can make myself presence known that I'm yeah. staring at you. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This nigga's always in, he always in the yeah. he always there. Ghost always in the way. There's a reason. Makes you know sense. what I'm saying? That makes sense. Cause they be trying it. It's season of the bit. Especially after the club. Huh? After the club is the worst. Yeah, they season like, of the bit. They feel like, oh, I'm thirsty. I But in all fairness, you you exuberate femininity and you cast off a fair amount. Yeah, so you bring that attraction. I can't help it though. That's so it, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be an average. It's gonna be a filter. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> Before you say okay, that was cool, but then didn't fit the other niggas said. It's crazy that you. Well, because, again, you, you're, you're working. Yeah. You're networking, you're doing your thing. You know, but they're, they're, people are looking at you. Yeah. And, and, some, and, and most people are going to have ill intention. That's just real shit. So do you think I need that right now? Security? Yeah. Depending, depending on how, how much of a crowd you're drawing. Like, let me ask you this. It's a big male crowd. Let me ask you, as you say as a male crowd, let me ask you this. Could you feel where we're at now? Not saying the name of where we're at. Like, could you feel it? Like, like, like we're 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 capacity of three hundred. Could you feel it? Like the energy of I need security. No, of like bringing in that many people. Yeah, I can do that. Then yeah, you need security. <laughs> <laughs> if you can bring that many people in, yeah, they're coming on you. Mm-hmm. You. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because when I post shit on my page, I could get like a thousand likes on a flyer. So I don't but know. But out of those likes, who, who, how many you think will show up? Yeah. So you might get a thousand likes, but it might 50. only be like, when well, you say at least 50. 50 so if you can if you can feel like, let's just say, half of where we are. Or, something, or if it's like I'm here and there. Yeah. I could fill up a room with at least 500 people. Okay, so if you can fill up 500 people that are coming to see you, yeah. you need somebody else. But I haven't done that. But that's that you next know? stage. So, but it's like, am I there yet? Am I like at that point? You gotta do stage? it to see. Yeah, because I gotta think about my fans. I gotta think about all these apps, YouTube, Instagram. See, again, this so, is what I'm telling you. Again, you you you, 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 you jumping into a you jumping into a, a world. When when I say when I say you compete with men, there is there's always the next phase where they're gonna just push through. So if this is where you're saying you're ma- you're not manifesting, if this is where you're saying. Your purpose is to that next level. What do you mean? You got to see if you can do it. Feel it. Oh, as that. Yeah. So I should hire security. 
if you if you can feel it, you should have somebody there next to you. Because I promise you, there's gonna be ill intent out of the five hundred. Okay. That's what I needed to hear. Seriously. Like besides what we're doing, that's what I needed to hear. To go home with me. Like Seriously. I mean, I get you going to the club. You have club security. No, bro, it. But if you're gonna if you're gonna fill a room like that, yeah, and you're gonna host like that, and you're gonna advertise like that, yeah. nigga, stop playing. That's why I don't have a house. Somebody I be coming. Right somebody now. be coming for the chocolate. Baby, 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 Yeah. So that is important. I'd rather be in an apartment instead of being in a house, even though I can afford that. Because being in a house without a man. You, I, I wouldn't even like, recommend that. My mom get like, you can't go this way. I go like, no. I wouldn't even recommend that. I need that. the security. Yeah. Yeah, like that makes For me real. feel comfortable in my home. So you're right. When yeah. I'm outside, I should have that same security. Yeah. It's pleasant in my house. Yeah. Seriously. Trying to get you to third. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, trying to get you to 30 or 31 without being traumatized or, or <laughs> PTSD or on anxiety nah, medication. Or <laughs> I mean, because yeah, because you're, you're out there like that, and you travel. And when I'm traveling, they're gonna be seeing. And you like, posting your travel. Yeah, oh, you posting that. I see my YouTube. I see my. Uh, and it's like. Or, or they, or, or they just look like, oh, I don't know. right? It's a lot of people that do that. You know what I'm saying? And so it just, it, it would behoove you to, be to just see. Way. Yeah, but that's, but that's, femininity is vulnerability yeah. for men because femininity, femininity equates to sexuality, and sexuality is all dominance for men. So. That vulnerability is gonna invite. That's when niggas be like, "Oh, she's nice, she's yeah. calm." Niggas are like, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then they see the other side of me like, making too much. And they be like, "What the hoop? You just angel." Like, <laughs> I can't handle this. What the fuck was this? Nigga, you pushed me too far. That's what this is. Now you got this. That's what I say. Alpha. Yeah, see. No, but those Girl. are niggas, those are niggas that can't handle me. Those are niggas so the that Grendel comes up, not Grendel. Too far because they be like, I'm Grendel's so nice wrong. and I'm so giving and I'm so, you know, you know, such a woman. And then it's like once they do too much, they see that side and they be like, Oh my god, I can't take it. If you can't take it, you ain't the one for me. Too. But that's what femininity is, though. And if they can't take it, they ain't the one. So you just gonna stop being feminine? You know what I'm saying? So why would they? You don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 so. I said, I'm going to exude that right. so much that they take advantage of me when they take it too far. Then you're going to Then it's like, back. nigga, don't try me. Now you're doing too much. Then they're going to see that other side. And some may get scared and be like, oh, I didn't know you were like this. Okay, but it's different. So you're going to let them chase you into the corner and then pull out the gap. But it's different sides of me. They don't know that's how I am. <laughs> when they see me, I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be them finding out that I'm like this. Yeah. On this. Now, that's their problem. Yeah, right. Maybe you should have been so you turn up in a club with a bitch. And now you're wondering why. Yeah. You don't know me. Yeah. So you can't be the hubby. You don't even know me. If you don't know that side of me, you don't know me. It's just different sides of a woman. It's, it's different layers, baby. If you ain't willing to feel them layers. Different layers. If you ain't willing to feel them layers to see who that woman is that you love, then why the fuck do you just like her? If you got no patience for that, boy, bye. Come on. Don't waste my time. Uh oh. You just want some pussy and you don't want to pull out the layers of who I am? Boy, bye. So, so you're not going for the whole casual sex thing? But go for the casual sex thing if I don't know you. Like, if I already know you and you like somebody that I fuck with, not in a relationship, it's just a man that I know, like, okay, 
but you've already know. known them. Yeah, like I know. So then, is that really casual? I mean, because casual no. would be casual would be defined as different people. No, I don't do that. I don't. Because see, I'm, see, that goes to show that really, you, you married, all can't be I'm be doing selective. it like men I'm do like that. Of yeah. My energy, though. Right. So if you a new nigga that comes in, you have to work for that. What I you can't mean, just work. casually give you my pussy. Nigga. What you mean work? I mean, you need to show me how you feel about me, or, or take me on a date, or show me you're here for me. Show me that you that you care. Because if you're not showing that, and you just want some pussy, then you gotta pay me. <laughs> you just met me yesterday, and you wanna fuck me tonight, nigga. Where's the best? <laughs> you gonna forget about me tomorrow morning and act like I never existed, but you wouldn't because this pussy is crazy. So, where is the best? What happened to the day? <laughs> it ain't no day. If all you want is some pussy and you don't want to get to know me as a man, and you want to be taking things further and like, okay, this is the and fill, fill out the layers. Right, right, right. You don't want to do that? You just want some pussy and you just mad because I'm fine? Okay. Um, you will be paying half my rent. <laughs> Cost you half rent. Nigga, no. I'm not that bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to be harsh, but I'm just not. I'm not hurt. So, I'm not hurt. Peel- <laughs> so, 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 to get the free pussy, you gotta peel layers. So, to peel the layers, exactly. <laughs> right, right. Because so. that means you're building a foundation with somebody. You're building a relationship. Not to say we're together or we're in a relationship, but we're, we're working towards something. Right. If we're not working towards something, why the fuck am I just freely giving you my pussy? My good ass pussy, nigga, this is gold. Yeah. <laughs> you think you're gonna stretch my shit out and fuck my shit up for my husband that deserves it? Nigga, no. You ain't having fun in this. Unless it's worth it. <laughs> and that's just me being real. Sorry. <laughs> say 90 to 95 percent of women believe that yeah. what she just said it's, right. it's a spiritual connection it definitely is especially if you ain't using no damn condom and that's one of the dangers of casual sex that we mm-hmm. you want to fuck all these strangers and you don't want to use and, no condoms and there's Those a connection there's a connection that you're making yeah she's absolutely correct on that i i agree with that thank you yeah i agree with that yep. so you're carrying a piece of that person with you after they leave. <laughs> and they carry the piece of you. So, no. That's why I'm Well, I mean, because it's like you stated, most people, it's just like, 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 they, like, I remember seeing a lot of stuff like on HBO with the prostitutes and Johns and stuff on uh, Hunters in the Point. Most of those people would have the same job. They'd have the same people coming back to the same prostitute. There's a connection there. Okay, I think so they got the same people in rotation. Yeah, but I mean, I what I'm saying that. is that mm-hmm. it's a familiarity that we're yeah, talking about. Yeah. They're not trying to go with a whole bunch of other different. I'm that a lot of people will just go to the same person. That's a good thing. That's what they're connected to. And that's what I do. That's why I was like, new people, I have to really trust you for you to be a new person in my energy to be like, all right, cool. 
I'll carry a piece of him and he can carry a piece of me. And a lot of a lot of people think girls that are pretty just want to open their legs and let any nigga hit for some money or for this or for that. that but it's still bad. It's into it too. So it's like, you Is that what we think? <laughs> Not every guy. I'm just saying some men. Not every man. <laughs> you know they're pretty, right? So it's like, oh yeah, she she a bad that bitch be, you know. Like, you know, and I'm just speaking facts. Cause I got a homeboy that tell me shit. Well, I mean, you know, we it's figured like, we roll the dice. Especially if you know what you look like, you might, you know, want to test that out every once in a while. Right. So we roll the dice on that all day. Don't do you no good if you just saying. Unless you're married, that's it. But like how you said, you run that risk. Yeah. On the casual market, of people getting sprung, unwanted pregnancies, STDs. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers dropping in your DMs when you don't want to talk to them no more. You know. <laughs> it's a lot that goes into. Yeah, you run a you run a risk into a, a whole lot. lot of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It ain't just what it is. Huh? What is it at? Five percent. Okay, so we're gonna close on that note. Wide open. So I appreciate him for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wide open. Thank you very much. Next one. Shut it up.